Hi, I'm Nina Mosier. I'm the director and co-founder of Power for Parkinson's. And today I'm in Philadelphia visiting a very special person, my dad, Dr. Bernie Friedberg. And we're going to just talk to you about a few things about the founding of Power for Parkinson's and he wants to share a few things um, about the disease and his experiences. You'll notice as I'm talking here, sitting here, that my body is uh, somewhat immobile. My facial response to the first edition of our thoughts spontaneous thoughts really brings alive the impact that power for Parkinson's has on the individual that is the disease but I'm having trouble right now public view. Well, you uh, wanted to express your um, vision about the, your lack of expression, like the masked faces that comes uh, with Parkinson's. That's exactly a good way to report um, experience. Yeah. When you used to, we were talking about smiling on camera, and I think you're realizing how hard it is doesn't to do that now, where it used to be a lot easier. Right. And with medication, it makes an exaggerated response to the illness. So that I'm more able to speak clearly and with ethic feelings that are um, more in keeping with the emotions I have. Yeah. I could talk much more about the conditions. we can supply you with a um, an example of the various things that people struggle with with Parkinson's condition. Yeah. Yeah, um, I think having that mask facies is upsetting and I know the tremor is also something that you find really uh, troubling and I know a lot of people do too as well as other symptoms like trouble with balance and walking, um, talking. Their bowels. Yeah, so there are a lot of um, issues that people are dealing with but today we just wanted to talk a little bit about Power for Parkinson's and, and why it was founded and one of the things I wanted to um, mention is that um, my dad really was the inspiration for this program because he was doing physical therapy about five years ago and when he completed that course of therapy he was left with a sheet of paper and a list of exercises that he wasn't able to keep up with on his own and we started doing them uh, by Skype, which was fun, but it was hard to keep that up at, from such a distance. And at that time, I started thinking that there had to be more. 
for people with Parkinson's. And I was fortunate enough to be able to connect with my dear friend, Susan Stahl, whose um, dad also had Parkinson's. And that's when we came up with the concept of Power for Parkinson's. And now, five years later, we have close to 300 people in the Austin area exercising with us every week. And we have over 3,500 subscribers on our free YouTube channel from all around the globe exercising with us. And my dad is one of those subscribers. And how many times a week would you say you try to do a video? Three. He tries three times a week to do the video and he has his favorite video. And I hope whoever may be watching this now, if you have Parkinson's or a loved one with Parkinson's, Either encourage them to try to come to our, one of our classes if you live in the Austin area or to try one of our free home YouTube uh, videos. And maybe you'll find your favorite too. So Dad, what do we say? Power for Parkinson's? You bet. <laughs>